dark side. <laughs> This was the biggest beast to live in North America since the dinosaurs. It might look like a pig, but it's more vicious than a grizzly bear. One thing is for sure, this beast was so frightening, some call it the pig from hell. It's really hard being triggered all the time. And I'm not kidding, it's all the time for me at this point. I get dressed in the morning, I'm triggered. I take a shower, I'm triggered. I get in the car, I'm triggered. I go for a walk, I'm triggered. I leave my house, I'm triggered. I sit in my room all day, I'm triggered. I look at my thin, beautiful sisters and I'm triggered and I just can't get away from it. Stop it, get some help. USA! 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 We heard you. We heard you. You got your message across. This is just the like, them talking to each other part. Fucking leave. Please, just go. Please, just go. Just because your dad didn't fucking stop, teach you stop, to please. be nice to women please, just... and to treat them right. Fucking I don't, leave. I don't want to hurt anymore. I'm trying to get better. They're You're doing... saying trying to get over it. You were saying, I heard you. I heard you saying, why don't you just get over it? I'm trying. I'm trying. And the That's why like you need to become a Christian. That is we are Christians. Stupid ass? Mm. Yeah. yeah. It With that matter. kind of hating you? Stop, Rain, Rain. Please. No, no, please just stop, Rain. I understand that you're trying to help, but please just please. This is peaceful. We don't need to be yelling. I just am asking you for the one at the bottom of my arm. If you are a Christian, please stop yelling at us. Please leave us alone. Please. Yes, it hurts so bad to hear people like me saying things like that, that it's not a Christian. It's not Christian for you to go and yell at people like that. It's not. I know. I grew up in a very, very Christian home. I know that that's not what it's supposed to be like. Okay? Please, we hurt you. Just go. Just go. Please, just go. You have no idea what it's we do, and we do this every year so we can connect with each other and not feel so alone. Can you please leave us alone? I, I understand your your view on thinking that sometimes it's the girl's fault or whatever, but 
regardless of what someone is wearing, regardless of if they're Christian or atheist or Jewish or anything else, regardless. It, it takes something evil in a man's heart or in a woman's heart or in anyone's heart to do that to someone when they say no and when they beg for them to stop. No, I agree with that. So please, it's so not our fault. Doing, doing it's not our fault. Because, because you what, What's your reasoning? <laughs> because I, I, well, what's your for, reasoning, for one thing, I, I believe that there's a lot of women... <laughs> Do you know what I was wearing? Basketball shorts and an oversized t-shirt. It had nothing to I'm do not, with I'm not I'm not addressing every situation. I'm just there are Tell women me, out give there. Give me a situation. There are women out there who sleep with a man. It's fully consensual. They're both sober. How do you know? And then have they, you been a victim of this? No, I do you know. I just read an article that. this morning. Oh, you, where oh, you this read woman an article did that. this they, morning. They had oh. consensual yeah, sex. Yeah, I know. I know several people who claim that. I've had. And, I know several and, people have claimed that. So you're you know, minded to say that there isn't like that, stuff though. like that. There, there, is, there's a lot of there sexual is. pressure. Boone here, obviously, and I need to talk to you guys about something that is really important, and it's hurting a lot of women, and I just, I can't take it anymore. Like, it's, it's getting on my nerves so much that I just want to go far, far away until this stupid, geeky, nerdy shitstorm has passed. Like, just... I'm I'm so mad. I'm sorry. When a person in one of those big brown hairy costumes came running over to me going Arr! and handed me like a flyer for some convention or something, I don't know, and I threw it at him and I was like, "The hell is this? I don't want this." As a feminist, I just want to tear down every poster, destroy and burn every toy and skip past every trailer that is before my YouTube video. For those of you stupid idiots who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about or you haven't figured it out yet, obviously I'm talking about Star Wars. Do I have to spell it out for you? S-T-A-R-W-A-R-S. It is so incredibly sexist, it blows my mind. Like, it's seriously, it seriously should win some sort of Nobel Prize for being so sexist and so bad. Too many of you Cheeto-munching, basement-dwelling, fedora-wearing Star Wars fans have no idea how much you're contributing to this issue. This is probably the most appealing part of the whole saga to you. The blatant sexism and the constant subjugation of women throughout this in higher saga and if you enjoy these movies you're probably some huge fat greasy misogynistic pig who hates women and can't get any like you're absolute scum and i have no other way of wording that in the light of all these findings i'm starting a new hashtag called ban sexist star wars this calls for the ban of the new movie and all other previous movies that have been made I want every single movie, 
DVD, VHS, mixtape, whatever, of Star Wars to be burned. I want the cinemas to not show it because it's hurting women. And I can't believe children, uh, children, they watch these shows. So they're going to grow up learning that it's okay to make fun of women because they get a period. So if you agree with me, please go under the hashtag and comment to show your support to ban this awful, awful saga, franchise, Star Wars shit. Star Wars, George Lucas, this is for you and how I feel about Star Wars being so sexist. Fuck you, Yoda, you stupid piece of shit. Yoda. <sighs> ah! This is Cassidy Boone. So, it's time for this sign to go bye-bye. Gonna walk it back to my car. Hopefully nobody will notice because I see people out here putting signs in and taking them out all the time. So, weight loss for youth. Healthy lifestyle changes. Of course, if they were really healthy, then you wouldn't care about weight loss. That wouldn't even be on the sign. So, I'm going to consider this hate speech and take it down as an act of protest. So... Now it's time to do the letters. Yay, we've got a letter. And that's the finished product. Give the gift of no diets. All right, so, well, that's the bad side, side, but we're ready to go put our sign out by a nice, heavy intersection now. So, it's a great time to do this right before Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's. Um, lots of diets, New Year's resolutions, you know, how many resolutions have you made? to, you know, oh, this year I'm going to lose weight, or this year I'm not going to gain any weight, or this year I'm going to get in better shape, meaning this year you want to lose weight. That's a nice place to put a sign. So, I'm just going to stick it in the ground there. Oh, it's maybe not stuck quite right. There we go. Now it's stuck right. And that's it. Happy holidays. And to everyone who doesn't celebrate holidays, happy winter. Enjoy your time off. It's something about the girl that just makes my